everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm gonna show you how i created this wedding makeup look later i will be going to a turkish wedding and i thought it was a nice idea to show you how i created this bridesmaid turkish wedding makeup before i start the tutorial i really wanted to show you something that i got from legerio jewelry legerio jewelry was so kind to send me a beautiful ring legerio sent it an email to me if i would like to choose a ring from their beautiful collection and of course i was so surprised and so happy that they asked me to i chose this really gorgeous ring the ring has a pear shape it's actually three different rings as you can see on the top is one in the middle and this one you can of course also wear them apart but i just wear them together i think it is so beautiful and it's silver sterling The ring came in this really beautiful packaging. I think this is so pretty to put maybe on your makeup table, on your dressing table. I think it's really nice. And in the first draw, you got the ring itself. And it's really secured. As you can see, it can't move anywhere. So with transport, that's really nice. And in the second row, you got a bag. Maybe if you want to give a present to someone, you can put it in here. And inside the bag, you got a certificate from Legerio and they also give you a cleaning cloth which you can clean your rings with so I think the packaging is really nice and uh, Legerio did such a good job with it and again I'm so happy with this ring I think it's so beautiful thank you so much Legerio Jewelry to send me this ring and of course I will put the ring in the description box and their website so you can check it out and now let's get started with the tutorial so I already did my hair as you can see I curled it and I put the front a little bit back and now the curls are quite stiff but later they will loosen up and I have a top on that I can pull down and not up so if my makeup is finished I won't ruin my hair and my makeup so if you have a top that you can uh, pull down I recommend uh, you wear that so now let's get started with the makeup my dress is black with some bronze glitters and later I will show it to you so I thought it was also nice to do a, a bronzy eye look and for that I'm using my uh, Morphe Fall Palette and I'm going to use some really nice bronzy shades for now let's start with my face so as usually I'm starting with a primer and for that I'm using the Flormar Illuminating Primer Base and I will just apply this with my hands Now I'm going to apply my foundation and it is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation and it's in the color 110 and I apply this with my beauty blender so I'm always loving to go to Turkish weddings Turkish weddings are always such fun and um, they dance a lot the Turkish traditional dance and what I really love from Turkish weddings is that the ladies always wear the most beautiful dresses they always wear gala dresses with a lot of bling glitter the makeup is on point the hair is really beautiful so uh, yeah I'm always really excited to see what everyone wears now I'm going to apply some concealer and for that I'm using the Cretrice liquid camouflage concealer and it's in the color 10 porcelain I'm also using this concealer for a eyeshadow base so I also apply it on my eyelids and then again I'm using my beauty blender to blend everything in then to brighten up my under eyes a little bit more I'm using my Maybelline instant anti-age erase concealer in the color ivory And I only apply this under my eyes. Now I'm going to use a cream bronzer. And this is a really famous one. And it's the Chanel Soleil Tend de Chanel. And this is a really beautiful cream bronzer. 
I really love the color, even though I'm quite pale, this bronzer is still really beautiful on pale skin. I'm going to apply this with my Real Techniques uh, Face Expert brush. I don't know, I feel like the camera makes me look really white. In real life I'm not that white, but that's strange. <laughs> As you can see, it gives a really nice bronzy look. I'm also going to apply this on my forehead. As you can see, it's a really beautiful bronzer. Now I'm going to finish it all off with some powder. And for that, I'm using the Chanel powder and it's the Loose uh, Finish Loose Powder. And it's in the color 20 Translucent. And I just step a little bit in here. And then I'm picking it up with my makeup studio brush this is a really beautiful matte powder and I really love this powder especially for parties I think it's really great then I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit more and for that I'm using my Rimmel bronzer and it's in the color 26 Sunkissed then it's time for some blush and I'm using my Golden Rose blush and this is in the color 7. It's a really light pink shade and I really love the shimmer. It gives you a really nice and glowy look. As you can see the blush gives you a really beautiful and natural glow. And I really love that from a blush. I just realized that I completely forgot to contour my nose. And normally I don't do this, but for a party I just contour it a little bit. And for that I'm using my MAC blush in the color Harmony. And I just pick up a really little with my eyeshadow brush. And I just really softly contour it a little bit. Then my favorite thing to do is to highlight my face. And for that I'm using the Balm Mary Luminizer and this is my favorite highlighter. It is such a beautiful color and I go highlight my face a little bit with this. Oh, this is such a pretty color. It is not too golden, it's a little bit of a champagne shade. I think it's really really pretty. Such a beautiful highlighter. As you can see, I love a glowy look, so I can't get enough of shiny blushes, highlighters, I really love it. Now that the face is done, I'm going to start with my eyes. And first of all, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for that, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Tip Brow Pomade. And this is in the color Blonde. And I'm going to use a small pencil for that. Picking up a little bit. And then I'm going to brush them a little bit through so they look more natural. Then I'm starting off with some eyeshadow. And like I said, I'm going to use the Morphe 35F palette because I got all of my matte shades right here. And because of my dress, I want to use some nice bronzy shades. But first of all, I need a transition shade. And for that, I'm going to use these two colors right here. I think these two colors are really beautiful together. And then I'm going to use a little bit of a darker tone. And I'm going for these two. And with these colors, I concentrate a little bit more on the outer corner of my eyes. And then slowly blending it in towards the eye a little bit more. And now I'm going to choose a color for my eyelids. And I'm going for this one right here, a quite darker bronzy shade and let's see how that looks yes this is the perfect shade then I again get my blending brush and I'm blending everything together 
I'm going to get a white shimmery shade for underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to add the tiniest bit of black. Like this and I'm going to blend it in with my other blending brush which has no color on it. Now I'm getting again my blending brush and I get these two colors again to blend everything nicely together. Now it's time for some eyeliner and I'm using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And this is a waterproof one which is really nice for parties so it won't smudge. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and for that I'm using my Essence I Heart Crazy Volume Mascara. And because later I'm going to apply some false lashes I just put one coat of mascara on. Now I will be applying some false lashes but I will do it off camera so I will be right back. So I now applied my lashes. For me they are quite big because normally I don't wear any lashes. So for me they are really quite there. But I really like them. I think they look really nice especially for a party. So the last few things that I'm going to do. I'm going to apply some extra shimmer brick on my cheeks. Just to give it a extra glow. And I'm going to apply the tiniest bit of eyeshadow under my eyes. I feel like if I put eyeshadow underneath my eyes, my eyes become quite quickly like a little bit droopy, like I look a little bit sad. So normally I don't put anything underneath my eyes, but for now I'm going to apply just the tiniest bit of uh, eyeshadow. And the last step are my lips and for that I'm using my Essence Lip Liner in the color 11. And of course I'm going to apply my favorite lip gloss and it's the NYX Better Gloss in the color Eclair. Now that the makeup is done I'm going to put my dress on and I will show you the end result. So this was the tutorial, I hope you guys liked it, if you did then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and of course you can follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys in my next video, bye!